Hello everybody, my name is Zach Cheese, and welcome back to more Kirby and the Rainbow Curse. Now you guys may remember, I told you guys I wasn't sure um, if I was going to do a full Let's Play of this. And I decided that I actually would, because as you can see here, I actually beat the game. And in fact, I got 99% file. I wasn't actually sure how to get the last figurine in the game though. So, I mean, I'm pretty familiar with the game by now, so I'm going to try and do a 100% playthrough. And, um, yeah, well, I'll see how that goes. It's going to be great. I hope you guys will enjoy it. Um, if you haven't seen my first video of it, go check that out. Um, so I started a second file, uh, and went ahead and beat the first level and got all the stuff on it. Uh, so now we're going to go into the second level. And another thing I want to say is this might be kind of a hard game to let's play. Well, not really a hard one. It's just like... It's going to be kind of long because th this game isn't that long. I've heard a lot of people say that. But, like, if you're trying to 100% it, then it could take a while. So, just a heads up. So, let's actually head to the second level up the big old tree. And we got eight lives, and uh, things are going to go great. I hope. I mean, this game is... Oh, dang it, I missed some stars over there. Uh, this game is kind of uh, tough. But I am pretty familiar with it by now, and all the control- Oh, uh, oh, oh gosh, okay, Kirby, please, do what I tell you to. Okay, and I may end up raging a few times, but, hey, I can do this, guys, don't worry. I'm professional at this game, because I, I beat it, and, uh, it actually did take me a while to beat it, because I was trying to get all the, the treasures and everything, because, I mean, come on. Who wouldn't want those figurines? I, I want those figurines in the game. I, I want to have like figurines like that in real life. It actually makes me wonder, do the Nintendo people... Do, no, the Nintendo people. Do the people at Nintendo actually have like real play figures or something? I don't know. That would be cool. I do know, I did hear that they actually did make the intro cutscene of this game. Uh, like out of clay. Real clay. Um... But I think the rest of the game was just, like, game programming. Alright, so, uh, here we got, they give us a little tutorial here. I don't really know how to do this, just draw a little line here. Boom! Get wrecked, you scrubs, man! I can't, oh gosh, okay. So, yeah. The, that's, that's all I got to say right now. Uh, let's go kill that guy, get some stars here. And, um... I say 100%ing might be a hassle, and it probably will be because if I miss a treasure chest, I'll have to replay the stage or kill myself, and, I mean, whatever I decide might be the easiest option, but, um, and, and I also have to get these things in the game called the Secret Diaries, which you guys have seen if you've seen my first play, uh, no, my first video of this game, and, um, I also, I don't know if I have to do this, but I do it anyway. Uh, I always get the gold medals on every stage. So, I mean, I don't know if I have to do that, but I'm going to. So, I mean, yeah. I also, I'm not completely sure how many levels I'll do in one episode. I guess it really just depends on how long the episode is. I'll probably make the episodes about, I don't know, 30 minutes long for each one. That sounds like a really long time, but let me just say, this is a really long game, so uh, if you're trying to 100% it, like me, um, let me see, so that was actually only our first treasure chest, and yeah, like if, if I were playing Kirby's Adventure right now, I'd be done with the level already, uh, so yeah, let's just kill that guy, come on, get that star, and actually, I don't really need the metameter, so I'm not gonna waste my little star boost thing yet. I don't know. So, like I said, I'm pretty familiar with this game by now. So, I mean, if I if I were playing this blind, this would be like a nightmare, and this would probably be painful for you guys to watch if I were doing this game blind. So, yeah. So here we have to go over here. Oh gosh, no. Nope. Well, there were some stars over to the right I could have gotten, but okay. Guess we're going up. Up the big old tree, as the name suggests. Let's kill that guy. Killing enemies in this game will give you three stars, so yeah. 
So that's that's a good bonus. Always got to have extra stars. Try and get those. Yep, got all three of them. Nice. I am a professional. Okay, let's get some stars. Always good. All right, let's go in here and get some milk. I don't know why, but I'm going to. Because I have a hankering for some milk. Ooh, I'll take those. Thank you. Kill that guy. Okay. Always get more stars. That's good. Okay, we're doing good. I guess you could say we're on a roll. Dun dun. No, no. Oof. Ah. Okay. Let me let me try that again. Let me try and make a bad pun again. I guess you could say we're on a roll. But on. Then right when I say that, I get hit. Okay. Let's try and collect all these stars. Yeah, nice. Uh, okay, so that'll give us a one-up. Um, I'll probably need some one-ups in this game because uh, th this is pretty easy now. I mean, uh, well, at least compared to the rest of the game, this is very easy. Uh, so, yeah. Another, another reason I decided to do this for a Let's Play, guys, is because... Like, after playing through the entire game, I realized that, like, what I showed you guys was only, like, a small fraction of the awesomeness that this game holds, so... I'm, I'm just showing you guys, like, all the rest that this game has in store, so here we have another time challenge. Uh, I'm gonna try and beat this. Oh, gosh. Let's just go for the treasure chest. There we go. Get, get some stars. Come on, Kirby. No. Okay. Okay, we're not getting stars then. <laughs> okay. Uh, anything down here? Uh, nope. Okay. Let's just go in the cannon then. Uh, okay. There we go. Tap on the cannon and we are off, everybody. Um, okay, let's get that. Thank you. That. That. So, yeah, uh, as I was saying, like. Okay, got time. Yes, got it. And I got the enemy too. So, I got stars and a treasure chest. So that was boss. Um. So. Yeah, like I said, like what I showed you guys, the first level is actually pretty lame compared to the rest of the game. This game does get very intense and awesome later on, so that's why I'm showing you the rest of the game, guys. First, the first world's pretty, uh, pretty straightforward, um, but yeah, it, it gets way better. Trust me, guys, it's gonna be awesome, and you guys are gonna love it. Because you can never get a, enough of this cute clay Kirby. Alright, so here we want to go down here and uh, let's get some stars, yeah. Alright, can I make it? No, I don't have enough paint left. Alright, so let's go there. Good, good job Kirby. Oh gosh, why did you do that? I did not do that. Did you do that, guys? Okay, because I didn't do that. Okay. I don't know, this game can be kind of crazy sometimes, but who cares, it's freaking Kirby, so I love it, man. I love any Kirby game, I, I don't care what it may be, um, I, I love all of the Kirby games, basically. Alright, let's try and get some stars here. Alright, we got some down there now. And up there. This game actually does that quite a bit, like, uh, you might have to go to certain places to make stuff appear. And here we got a rain of stars. Gosh dang it, the freaking, the, no! Get it, get it, get it, get it! No, 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 no! Kirby, thank you, thank you. I made a huge deal about, like, one freaking star, dang it. And then I missed, I missed that guy. You come back here right now, thank you. But I didn't kill him. He, he deserves to die. Whatever, I'm playing a Kirby game, I don't need to make this violent. Hey, hey, okay. Get all the stars, good. Okay. Uh, now here we have this little secret uh, here. I don't know if you guys can tell. There's a secret. If we go and star dash up, then we will be taken to a secret pinball game. So yeah, this game actually does that quite a bit where you have... Wow. That was beautiful. Okay, uh, can I go back up? Because I would like to do that. Uh, it's not that big of a deal if I waste star dashes because they are pretty abundant in this game, but um, I would have liked to not fall off there. That would be great. Uh, so let's do that, and that'll boost me up. So that is not what I want. 
you would stop doing that. Come on, come on, Kirby, Kirby. Here, Kirby, let's go there. No, 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 no. Okay, try, try that. Good, 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 okay. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Oh, boom, got the big star. That's all I care about. That's all I care about is getting the big star. That's all I need to be happy in life. Alright, so here. Oh gosh, no. We have a puzzle piece challenge, dude. Guys, in case you do. Well, um. I don't think I had this. They had one of these. No, they didn't have one of these in the first stage, so you guys didn't get to see these. But these things are a freaking nightmare if you're only. If you have, like, multiplayer, it's not that bad, but. If you're playing single player, getting these gosh dang puzzle piece treasure chests can be a freaking nightmare. So, uh, I was lucky enough to get that one, so, yeah, but some of them can be pretty, pretty lame, and I might rage a bit at them. Okay, so here we got an invincible lollipop, bringing me one of my favorite invincibility themes of all time. Actually, it probably is my favorite invincibility theme of all time. So, uh, yeah. Oh, dude, why didn't I kill that guy? The big armor dude. Dude, that would have been such a good idea if I did that. Let's just do that. Whatever. Doesn't matter. Let's, uh... Let's, let's destroy these. Because those give us stars. Only one star, but who cares? I gotta get all the stars I can get, guys. Okay. Can I... Yes. Mm, yes. Okay, good. I can go down. Alright, and I think this takes us to the end of the stage, if I'm not mistaken. Yep, it sure does. Yeah, this is the end, I'm pretty sure. Now let's go check over on this side real quick, see if there's anything. Yep, there is. There was a, a little, uh, one of those things over there. So, let's try and get the secret diary. Sometimes, uh, these can be a little tough to get. No, no, no. Okay, let's... Okay, Kirby just stayed there, that was good. Um... Let's just wait for it to go around again because um, I want to be careful with this. I don't want to have to play the entire stage. Okay, good. Thank you. Thank you, Kirby. You did what I asked you to. Alright. Yay. I got... Whoa, I got 1,042 stars. Dang, that was a lot of stars. Alright, so here we got all five treasure chests. We got two musics and... Uh, some figurines so let's go check those out along with our new secret diary page all right we have the cannon kata this is what happens when you're a kata and you mouth off to Claysia. she turns you into a cannon some folks thinks that's okay i have very good grammar okay some folks think that's pretty mean of her but that certainly is a fine looking cannon don't you think I say it. It is a rather fine cannon. Yes, yes. So, uh, we got like a little, uh, oh, pottery guy who's like a cannon. It's very clever, Nintendo. Very, very clever. Alright, let's check out this guy, the Kata Knight. This Kata got its grubby little hands on a special ham a helmet and turned into a knight of some esteem. But it immediately forgot what a knight is actually supposed to do, so now it just wanders around and shows off its helmet. That's beautiful. Okay. So let's look around. Nice. Nice. I love how you can just view these 3D models and see all the work that was put into them. So now we have Bouncy, a classic Kirby enemy. Everyone knows the only reason Bouncies like to bounce so high is because... They like the view from up in the air. Things just seem more peaceful up there. Every day is a good day to bounties, and no one's gonna keep them down. Yeah, no, no, uh, no kidding. Well, I mean, I don't know. I killed a few of them. <laughs> All right, so we got the bouncy model. Uh, that's pretty cool. All right, I think that's all we got for figurines. Yeah. So let's check out the music room. We got. Uh, we got we got the the adventure begins arrangement. Okay, that's a cool one. Um, and we got King Dedede's things. We got King Dedede's theme. If I could speak properly, that would be great. 
Alright, so there's some sick tunes you guys can play. They're totally gnarly, man. So, like, see Kirby's rocking out back there. I will say, after, like, playing through this entire game, um, there are, like, quite a bit of, like, kind of rock and roll dubstep sort of tunes in there, so. I don't know, I didn't know Nintendo was so big on those kinds of tunes, but okay. Alright, what's the story? Claysia stole all the colors. Oh, how rude of her. She's a very talented artist, and she loves colors. Yeah, no kidding. Okay, so that's the story to this game. Uh, some Claysia person stole all the colors. So, I'm about 15 minutes into recording. Looks like I might have time for one more stage. Maybe I'll finish off this world, actually. I mean, I'm not sure. I think maybe that's what I'll do, but, um, I'm gonna go play the Great Cave Escape, uh, which is, uh, it's a cave, and I can't stop Kirby from falling. I would love to kill those enemies over there, but I can't. I guess they're just for decoration. So here we have the waterfall mechanic, one of my least favorite mechanics in this entire game, because it's just so annoying how, like, if you don't have your rope there, the waterfall just, like, stops you from moving, and... I don't know. I don't like that. I don't like that at all. I'm not a fan. Alright. Can I... I, I think I can... <laughs> oh! Okay, I got a one-up for that. Gosh dang. I don't know. I feel kind of bad about that. I, I just got some money and, and a one-up for killing some innocent fish. I should feel ashamed of myself. Oh man, I've done a horrible thing. Oh gosh. Alright, well, let's just kill these guys. Let's kill some more people and uh, get even more money. Yes, yes. I'm gonna be the richest man on the planet or something. I'm, I'm trying to talk like a Wario or something. However, Wario talks, I don't know. He's like. I don't know. I don't even know. It's, just, it's weird. Nintendo has very weird voice acting sometimes, so it can be hard to mimic that. Gosh dang it, freaking fine things. Let me kill you so I can get some more money. Alright, let's get some stars here. No, Kirby. Okay, go, go, go. Okay, good. Let's get some stars. Let's get the, the maximum mayor thing. And we can get our butts out of here. Also, one thing I don't understand about this game is... Why is Kirby, like, rolling in this game, you know? Why can't he just use his feet? He has feet. Like, why can't he use them, you know? It, it Like, in Kirby's Canvas Curse, it was a different story. He didn't have feet at all, but in this game, he he, has, he clearly has feet. But why why would he roll around on rainbow ropes? Who, what, why? Why, Kirby? Why did you do this? Why did you have to make the game so hard for me? Whatever. I mean, I still love the game, obviously. I'm not, I'm not gonna judge it just because of that. Wait, is there anything down there? That looks kind of like a secret spot. No? Okay. Guess not. Always gotta check for secret, guys. Secret secrets, whatever. Because I don't have this game fully memorized. I mean, I I know where a great, a, a good deal of the stuff in this game is. If you would go that way, Kirby, that would be great. Um, but, like, I don't have the whole game memorized or something like that. Okay, guys, we have to do this here. I know how to do everything. It's, it's gonna be easy. No, but I, 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 uh, I know, I know like how it works now. I'm, I'm much better than like if if you saw my first episode of this game, I'm much better than that. I've gained a lot more skill. So, um, how many treasures? We only have the first treasure. Here we are about to get our second treasure if we just simply go back. That's all we have to do. And we'll get the second treasure. Boom. It's that easy, everybody. Go do it now. Go get your second treasure now if you have not already. It's that easy. Alright. If you'd like more help, call... Um... 1-800-something. Kirby and the Rainbow Curse. I don't know. Alright, let's kill some more innocent fish for more money. Why not? Oh, gosh. Okay. Uh, let's get that big star. I would very much like that. Yes, yes, there we go. Alright, can I get it before the waterfall comes down? Yes, I can. Okay, good. That is good. That is very good. Okay, so here we have our first challenge where we have to kill all the enemies. 
before we can get the chest to appear. And now we can go get it. There we go. Sometimes these challenges, the time challenges, can get pretty rough in the game, so... Just a note, guys. It'd get pretty rough later on. I think I might actually try to finish World 1 today, because... That would be a good stopping point, I think. And... I, I think my schedule will be, like, I'll do half a world each episode, so... I mean, yeah. I don't want to make this, like, a 22-part series or something, guys, so... Yeah, I think that's about how many levels are in the game. Plus all the boss stages, so... It's also that. Alright, let's go get some juicy stars right here. Nice, 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 Kirby. That is awesome. No, go that way. Go that way, you freaking idiot. Okay, I wouldn't call Kirby that. Why would I call Kirby that? I didn't do that. Who called Kirby an idiot? Did, did you call Kirby an idiot? You better not call Kirby an idiot, because I'm about to kill these pot guys right here. For calling Kirby an idiot, I blame it on them. Alright, let's... Okay, screw you. I'm going to take your treasure. Thank you. Alright, so let's go get some stars right here. Uh, okay, let's stick to that. Let's kill a fish again. Let's go over here. And let's stick on this green stuff and boom, that's all you need to do. Okay, let's kill this guy real quick, or wait for him to come to us. There we go. So here I'm just going to draw like a big loop-de-loop. -loop. That's probably the best method for getting stars from these things. And here, I'm actually going to want to go up. No, 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 Kirby, Kirby. Gosh dang it, Kirby. Are you serious right now? Okay, I'm going to star dash up. Thank you, Kirby, for listening. Okay, so I'm going to star dash up and get rid of that gosh dang bell. And here, oh gosh, this is scary. Uh, can I get it? Yes, I can. Good. Thank you, Kirby. Thank you. Okay, I did it. I did it. I did it. Okay, I got the treasure. I think that's... Yeah, that was the last one. Okay. So, we don't have any more treasure chests to worry about. All we have to worry about now is getting the secret diary and the gold medal. Alright. Come on. If I'm being silent, guys, I I need to focus. I need uh, I need milk. That's what I need. So let's kill these gosh dang fish. Kill all the fish. They deserve to die. What'd they ever do for me? They never did anything for me. All right. Yay. So that'll get the waterfall to come down, and that'll get us through the platform. So we can go down, and uh, I think this is the end of the stage. Yeah, this is the end of the stage. Okay, so here we can star dash and get all kinds of goodies. Alright, come on Kirby. Go there. Thank you. Okay. Um, okay, let's, let's go here. And, uh, okay. Get the milk, and let's head on out of here. Let's head on, head on out of here. Okay do this okay nope nope come on Kirby do what I tell you to okay so here we gotta time it so we can get all the stars and I timed that horribly apparently all right let's uh let's just go up here mind our own business and uh yeah I think this is the end of the stage now I think I think I think I think I don't know and hopefully we got the gold medal. I actually don't know, but I, I hope we did, because I don't feel like playing this stage again. I already played the game once. Come on, game, just cut me some slack, okay? So we finished that stage actually much quicker than the second stage, so I don't know if that one was just shorter or what. All right, we did get the secret diary, all the treasure chests, and did we get a gold medal? That is the last question I have. And it looks like it. Yes, we did. Yes, we did. We indeed did get a gold medal. Alright, so we got some more figurines and some more uh, secret diary, um, another secret diary page. And, um, and we got some more music, of course. Um, 
Gordo. If you touch Gordo, he'll definitely do damage, but I don't think he means to hurt anybody. And whatever. I, I asked him once, and he just stared at me with those big eyes of his. Maybe he doesn't even know the answer. Heh. <laughs> yeah. Like, my question is, whose point of view is, like, the description from, like, who was staring into his eyes? Is this Aline's description? The... Elian is the paintbrush that was in the intro, if you guys didn't know. So let's, let's soak in all the glory of that guy. That's great. Now let's look at Carpa. This scrappy little fish has just one goal in life, to swim straight up a waterfall. He's had that dream for a while though. Maybe he's worried about what comes after he's reached the top of that metaphorical waterfall. Don't worry guys, I can read big words. I'm, I'm good. I'm pretty good at reading big words, oh yeah. I'm a big boy. Alright, uh, 26 minutes in recording. I just hit 26, alright. Soaking all the glory, alright. Now let's look at Bronto Birds. Red Bronto Birds are perfectly happy just flapping in place, but the blue ones will almost always swarm Kirby if they get the chance. Don't give them that chance. Whatever you do guys, don't give them that chance. Right, nice, nice, nice. I love this. I love this. I'm really having a lot of fun now, guys. I guess you couldn't tell I'm having a lot of fun now, even though I already beat the game. I'm still happy to play through this game again. For you guys. So here we got through the sky. Another thing is that all the music you earn from this game is like from other Kirby games. Just like remixes of it. So that's cool. Oh, I love this song. It's from Kirby's Adventure, yay! Yeah, I love this. Alright, but we don't have too much time to do that. Uh, let's just quick check our secret diary. Shh, it's a secret, everybody. My profile, name, Elian, personality, rainbow, birthday, springtime, job, painter. So, I was just talking about Aline, guys, if you didn't know who Aline, maybe, if you didn't know who Aline was, well, there you go. Alright, so now, I think I'm gonna try and beat the World 1 boss, and then that'll be the end of this episode. Alright, a new challenge, alright, great. The Forest of Wispy Woods, yes, guys, it's Wispy Woods, big surprise, I know, right? Wispy Woods is pretty much in every Kirby game, if you guys didn't know, so... There's a little bit of info for you guys. A little bit of Kirby in, uh, info. I'm actually trying to think about the, the history of Wispy Woods, I think... Yeah, he was in the first Kirby game, Kirby's Dream Land. He was in Kirby's Adventure. He was in... Kirby's Dream Land 2, I'm pretty sure. He was in the Kirby's Dream Land 3... Kirby Superstar, he was in, I, I don't know, he was even in freaking Kirby's Air Ride, if you, if you like go to a certain section on the city trial, you can see him, so here we have Wispy Woods the boss, uh, so I'm gonna try and beat him, uh, cause, uh, like, you know those little challenges I unlocked, guys, well to unlock some of the challenges, you have to, like, you have to beat some of the bosses in this game without taking any health or taking any damage. Why did I say that? Okay. You have to beat the bosses without taking any damage and then you'll unlock like a new challenge. So if I can beat him without taking damage, I can get a new uh, challenge. Which I think if I beat all the challenges, that might be the key to getting 100%, but I'm still not sure yet, guys. I'm still not sure how to get that last dang figure in here. Alright, so this is pretty easy. Mostly, uh, yeah, this is usually what happens in Whiskey Woods, uh, in Kirby games. They're usually pretty easy. So I guess I should be trying to hit him now. Please, good start. Thank you. Okay. Oh gosh, that was risky. Um, not sure what I want to do here. Oh crap! Okay, that was not good. Okay, that wasn't good either. So I already took damage, that's not good. Uh, I'm not gonna replay this stage though. Um, I mean, 
If I, if I took damage, it's not too big of a deal. I'll just keep playing, but... Yeah. I mean, it would've been nice if I didn't take damage. That's all I'm saying. Right, let's actually try and get the star boost on him this time. No, 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 no. Okay, don't, oh, don't hit yourself, Kirby. Let's get the cherries. Boom. Boom, yeah. Just tap him a bunch. Yes, yes, yes. All right, got him. Got him. Boom, that was epic. I actually remember, I think in the E3 trailer for this game, it showed Wispy Woods, but I think I remember, like, they showed, they showed Kirby shooting out of a cannon into his face instead of, like, Instead of, like, the Star Dash. I don't know if that's right, but that's what I remember seeing. So that is Green Valley, everybody. I did three levels today. It was a pretty long video. Um, next time, I'm gonna head to Yellow Dunes, and I'll probably finish off the first two levels of that, uh, of that world. Uh, I guess it really depends on how long the recording is. Which, actually, reminds me, once you beat a world, uh, you get the... You get the music from that world and the boss figurine. Wispy Woods, when most people think Wispy Woods, they think apples. But this Wispy Woods can't grow apples. Oh, too bad. So he simply drops bombs instead. Never heard of that before. An apple a day keeps the doctor away, but I don't think the same can be said for bombs. Yeah, you think? Okay. So, we got, we got a pretty cool uh, handmade looking Wispy Woods. This game actually kind of inspires me. Maybe I should, like, make a real-life Wispy Woods out of clay. That'd be cool. That'd be cool if somebody could actually do that and kind of replicate the one from the game. But I don't know. The ones from the game are pretty high quality. So here we get the World 1 music. We got a bunch of music. We got the title theme opening, main menu, level select, grasslands. I'm sure you guys have heard all this music, though, so I'm just going to go through it so that we don't have little notifications all the time. Boss of the Grasslands, what's this now? It's that stubborn tree, level clear, a happy message, treasure chest, treasure chest open, figurine showcase, reading the secret diary, challenge mode. Actually, I don't think you guys have heard challenge mode music before, because I was never on challenge mode. We got whoops, which is, which is when you die, and we got game over, which I hope doesn't happen in this game. If it does happen, then I suck. Um, so yeah, um, y you guys will probably see a lot of that whoop sound effect later. But for this episode, luckily I didn't die, so that was great. Um, so that's going to be all for this episode, guys. I'm going to try to get these episodes uploaded every other day, kind of like Retro Bob does. He, he uploads videos every other day. Um, so I'm going to try and do that with this series. And if I can't, well then I'm sorry. But hey, that's going to be all for today. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And remember to leave a like if you like this video. And to subscribe. Thank you everybody for watching. And goodbye.